For now, we're going to move on. We're going to move over to Kim Clark with a leading school board member who's here and who had a big announcement of her own this week. Kim? That's right, Joe. I'm joined by Michelle McKissick, the chair of the Shelby County Board uh, School, Shelby County School Board, Memphis Shelby County School Board. So forgive me, old habits die hard. Um, who also announced earlier that uh, you're running for mayor as well. Um, and you were also echoing attorney Ben Crump uh, wanting to disband the Scorpion unit. That's right. I believe it should be disbanded because at this point, I heard Chief Davis just speaking now, um, all that positive that came out of it mm -hmm. previously is forever tarnished and tainted. And I don't believe the community would want to see anything with the name Scorpion ever again in right. this community. Right. I, I, and I know that Mayor Strickland earlier um, today sent out his uh, uh, newsletter and said that basically it was on hiatus and was being reevaluated and was not sure if or when it would return so you might get your wish. What would you, I mean, you mentioned that, you know, it did do good initially. Um, but this is, there's no coming back from this, you think? Absolutely not. I think this is a great time for the city of Memphis, for the Memphis Police Department to say, how can we be better? Anytime you have something, especially that's gone global, mm -hmm. when you have the President of the United States making comments on it, it is an absolutely perfect time to reevaluate everything that you do within the police department and, and beyond. I mean, I actually have had conversations saying, what should we do as a school district in terms of our school resource mm -hmm. officers and how we handle altercations within our school? So those are conversations I'm going to be having in the coming weeks with the superintendent and uh, our board. Right. As a, a, a mayoral candidate, um, your thoughts about um, C.J. Davis, Chief Davis, and how she has handled this whole situation. I think she's done a superb job in an incredibly difficult, tragic situation. But when you think about it, have you ever seen any law enforcement officer at this level when we had tragedies like this be so forthright, so swift mm -hmm. in taking action in real time, facing police brutality, and along with our DA as well, with coming down with the indictment. So, uh, yes, you know, we can always Monday morning quarterback and mm -hmm. say what should have, would have, could have, but. Under the circumstances, she's done extraordinarily well. Right. I, I've asked uh, uh, Mayor Harris this as well, so I'm going to ask you as well. Do you plan to watch the video when it's released? As much as I would not want to watch mm -hmm. it, it's my responsibility to watch it. So, yes, I will be watching it. I have already had conversations, my husband and I, with our 11-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. and she will not be watching it. And we've talked about what's going on right now, right. and I implore um, for families to do that. This is not a video. I was at the vigil last night with Mrs. Wells, Tyree's mother, mm -hmm. and uh, we just had a moment right afterwards. I just went over to her to extend my condolences, and she grabbed my hand, and she said, Michelle, she's like, I feel like I'm living in a movie. Oh, I'm in a I movie right it. now. And she also emphasized that she goes, I don't want any child to see what's on that video. All right. But she does want the video released. Oh, absolutely. Definitely. She wants the video released. The community needs to see, the world needs to see. And as a country, not just Memphis, as a country, we need to be better about this and really make some change. All right. Michelle McKissick, thank you so much for joining My us pleasure. today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. And make sure you stay with Action News 5 for the very latest information. We are waiting for the Memphis Police Department to release the video from the traffic stop there of Tyree Nichols. And once it is released, our team in the newsroom is going to discuss and watch the video before we make a decision on what to do next. You've heard my colleague Joe reiterate over and over again, we will release this responsibly, professionally, with uh, hearts and minds of viewers uh, top of mind. So be sure to stay with us. We'll have updates both on the air and online on actionnews5.com.